mornings. Wake up, lazy bones. I have to leave in ten minutes now. Hurry up. You know, Harry, you can't stay up every night being scared and then sleep in every morning. And please, pick up this room. I can't stand it any longer. I mean it, Harry. Or no summer camp. Mom, it's not here. I have nothing to wear. She never takes me shopping. Love to do, Harry. Mom, will you buy me a tent for my birthday? I don't want cereal. I want pancakes. Harry, brush your hair. Talk to me when I'm richer, Jeremy. Oh, and guys, we have to do the garden. Oh, Mom, did you send my report card Mom, yet? Mom, please, oh, please, oh, please, will you take me to the circus? Where did you put it, Jeremy? I don't know, Mom. I gave it to you. Please. We'll see, Harry. I hate cereal. Ricky Turner's mom always makes some pancakes and eggs and bacon for breakfast. Well, Ricky Turner's mother doesn't have to work. Now, stop whining and start eating, and Harry... You promised you'd clean the rotten eyeballs bowl. Do it today or let's take him back to the pond. Mom, I can't find my red New York t-shirt. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to the mall after school with Aaron. No, you're not. Oh, Mom, please. Everyone does Honey, it. you are only 12 years old. Get real, Mom. I'm going to be in eighth grade. Oh, well, aren't you just too cool for words? Grow up. You're just jealous because I'm older. Blah. Ew, gross, Jeremy. Mom, I'm joining the circus when I grow up. Oh, Harry, look what you've done. Mom, don't tell me my shirt's still in the dirty laundry. What am I going to wear? Well, Elizabeth, you're almost in the eighth grade. You ought to be capable of doing your own laundry. Oh, I am already 15 minutes late. Now, guys, I love you to bits, but I'm sick and tired of this. If I come home tonight and this house is not clean, nobody is going out this weekend, and I mean it. Mom, we better go. It's 20 after. What's her problem? Sometimes I think we have the worst mother in the world. Don't you wish we had one of those mothers who did everything for you? on here, boys. He pushed me for no reason. And it's not true. He pushed my brother down first. Now, you're the older boy here. Violence is no way to solve anything. Come on. Ricky, this isn't your fault. Look what I got from my mom's closet. All right, let me have one. Elizabeth Martin. Hello, Mrs. Martin, please. Mrs. Martin, hi. This is Terrence Levy, school principal. Yes, I'm sorry to bother you, but I'm afraid I need to make an appointment for a home visit. Yes, I know summer vacation starts tomorrow, but this is very important. Men don't cry. I mean, really, what would Dad say? You gotta be strong, Harry. Take charge. What am I supposed to do if a big old kid picks on me? Well, whatever it takes. Just don't be a wimp. Look, if you have to... Punch him in the nose. Harry, ignore Mr. Macho here. We've got much bigger problems than that. Yeah, like Mom's gonna kill us. Maybe Miss Gavor can do some flower magic and make baby go up and smoke. <sighs> You're such a kid. Mrs. Gavor doesn't do real magic. She just talks to her flowers. But her flowers go better than anybody else's. Yeah, which means she's got a lot more rosebugs for us to catch and earn money.
helping Miss Pound the world's bugs? Hello, children. No, I couldn't do that. <laughs> that would be like spraying them. There's no joy in an unequal battle. I bet you have come for your wages, haven't you? Yeah, well, summer vacation starts tomorrow and we could sure use it. Especially since we're going to be in the doghouse with her mother. Well, if you're interested in more work, you can see I need the help. Can't you just do some magic to make the bugs disappear? Please hey, stop it. Why? I think it'd be really cool. Just kind of zap them and twist them. Their history. No, I'll tell you it'd be really cool. We could just kind of zap mom and presto, she's history. Yeah, I could get into that. It would mom before she grounds us. But we almost rolled on any kind of spell that can make bugs or anything. Even people disappear? Well, the ancients believed that the stars were our memories. And one removed an enemy by erasing all memory of that person, all belongings, all reminders. Wait a minute. So we could just kind of forget everything about Mom, including her nagging and cleaning up? Precisely. Wow, wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, and imagine if we even got a proof Mom never, ever punished us. Hey, did the ancients say anything about how to make it work? Sure, Dora, cadaver, cadaver. You know, erasing memory is a very dangerous game. It's not one I would play with, my dears. That's easy for you to say. You don't live with our mother. Well, I believe the ancients used to say... Abit Luna, Abit Stella, roughly translated, that means moon gone, stars gone, and then they'd say whatever they wanted gone. For example, in your case, you'd say, Abit Matara, mother gone. And if it worked, and that's assuming a great deal, your mother would be gone. And then you could go to the mommy market and pick out a new mother. He go where? The mommy market. Jeremy, don't get any ideas. She's pulling our leg. Come on, we better get home and prepare for battle. See you, Mrs. DeVore. Bye-bye, Mrs. DeVore. Do you think Mom's gonna take away TV? She's gonna nail us. Yeah, I don't feel like facing her right now. What a pain. Who do you think you are? You can't just go around doing whatever you want. And Elizabeth, cigarette, really? Well, that's it. You're all grounded. Period. Understand? There's no camp, no allowance, no TV, no nothing. Now, up to your room right now. This instant, I am furious. But, Mom. Don't butt Mom me. Things are going to change around here permanently. Now, march. Harry, I thought I told you to keep your stuff in your room. I'm going to camp. I don't care what she says. Camp I can do without, but being grounded for the whole summer, forget it. I'm out of here. Yeah, no wonder Dad left her. Wish we didn't have to be stuck with her. Hey. Hey, that's it. What? Maybe we could try to make her disappear, like Mrs. Cavour said. Please. No, really. Come on. Everyone sit in a circle. We gotta make it look swat. But then she'll be gone. Duh. But then we gotta go to that mommy market and pick out a new mother. A perfect mother. Harry. A mother that makes pancakes every morning. Wow! You guys are brain damaged. You stop being such a drip, Elizabeth. You want to watch TV, see your friends, go to the mall? Yeah, if it works, we'll get to do anything we want. And when it doesn't work, Mr. Magic? Oh, then I'll tell all your cool friends you look like a jerk. What do you care? If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Big deal. Oh, Elizabeth, stop being such a yuppie. What? Come on, everybody hold hands. Okay, how'd it go? We got all safe together. Uh, a bit something. Oh, yeah, a bit Luna. A bit Stella, a bit Matra. Okay, everybody together. A, a bit Luna, a bit Stella, Stella a bit, bit, bit Matra. Matra. So much for that bright idea. Any more hocus pocus you guys want to whip up? 
Looks like there's a storm coming. We better get to bed before Mount Grouts is for the century. did the magic. Piper, can you remember her? Sure. I mean, she, um... We wanted to get rid of her. Get rid of who? What does she look like? How did she talk? I... I don't know. I don't remember. Do you guys? Are you guys scared? No. No, we're not scared. I mean, this is what we wanted. We erased her. We're free. We can do whatever we want. We can get a new mother. Right? Right. A perfect mother. Yippee! <laughs> I believe this is yours. <laughs> uh, is your mother home? Oh, no, she's not. Really? We had an appointment. Well, she had an emergency. She had to leave very quickly. I'm so sorry. When do you expect her? We don't. We go. Wait a minute. Uh, tonight. We're expecting her tonight. We'll tell you to drop by. Okay. Thanks. Uh, have her call me tomorrow, will you? It's important. Yeah, we got rid of her mother. She's gone. Gone? I don't understand. Where is your mother gone to? We erased her like you told us the ancients did. Now we can't remember her at all. Oh, I see. Yeah, and we can't cook very well, and we need dinner. Besides, we want a new mother, not no mother. Yeah, so where's the mommy market? How do we get there? Lily Jamander sops and wine. Sweetbriar, Bonfire, Columbine. It's many years since I've been to the Marvin Market. I don't know if it's still in operation, but it used to be all the way downtown, in the old district, just beyond Central Square. 
can't imagine that it's moved. But it's only open for business on Sundays from 3 to 5. Go down Main Street till you come to the open air market. Keep the clock tower on your left and move west from it along the market. Halfway down the block is a small cobblestone the street. Cobblestone street. Take that right. Continue on until you come to a small alley. Childers Lane, it was called. Look, it's there! Childers Lane. Follow that to its end, and there you will find the mummy market, if you find it at all. What you want is a big plate of chocolate fudge instead. Yeah. Yeah. I want her. Well, wait till we've seen them all. What kind of cakes do you want? Yes. What can I do for you? We'd like to get one of these mothers. Okay. What's your name? Elizabeth, Jeremy, and Harry Martin. I'm Edward. Welcome to the Mommy Market, established in 1742. You mean the Mommy Market's been here that long? Well, not the way it is now. It used to be called the Parental Exchange, the female division. Is there a Daddy Market? Can we go there, too? You can go there instead, but no one can go to both at once. It's always disastrous. We better get a mother first. We want someone who can cook pancakes. Well, we've got them all here. However, before you choose a mother, we have one rule, to which there's absolutely no exception. All families have three pigs. We give each family three of these tokens. You have to deposit one of these tokens into that metal turnstile over there before security will let you take a mother home. We found that if children don't find a suitable new mother by the third try, they never will. So here are your tokens, and good luck. Uh, that mean? 365 
Harry's mother can teach you how to take care of yourself, Harry. Don't even think it. She's taken. Do you really like children? Of course I do, darling. What do you do with them? Oh, it's a girl your age. I would have such fun. I would teach you how to dress to your best advantage. <gasps> oh, we would have to do something about your hair. Mm, you're getting much too old for that hairdo. <laughs> I'm sure I think my hairdresser could do wonders for you. You could? Come on, Elizabeth. Let's go to the next one. Can you cook? <laughs> Of course not, darling. But I never go anywhere without my chef, Pierre. Oh, it's a little artiste. Pierre can do anything. Elizabeth, no. Wait a minute. I like her the best so far. Are you kidding? Look at her. She looks like Cruella de I hate her. She smokes cigarettes. I want the cookie one. Five minutes to closing. Five minutes to closing. Look, I'm the oldest. I'm the biggest. I three take her, and we wait till next week. What'll it be, boys? And they live happily ever after. She does have a cook. Bet you he can make pancakes for breakfast. She's obviously rich, Jeremy. She could buy you anything. Okay. Um, excuse me. Would you like to be our mother? Oh, that would be divine, darling. <sighs> Call me Mom. Oh, there she was. <laughs> well, you mean we get to win, miss? Oh, surely you did not expect us to take the bus. <laughs> I'll take that one over there. It's crooked. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, now, do show me the house, darlings. <laughs> Ta -da! Nobody smokes in our room, Mama. Here, put it out. He's kidding. Oh. Only little boys will. <gasps> no, no. What is that terrible, nasty-looking creature? It's not real. What? Where? Is it? I think she means Michael. Oh, that's Michael. He's my goner. No. Oh. No, 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 no. Don't take him out. I don't think Mama cares for Michael. Pierre made Madame's favorite. Poached octopus. Ooh. I'm planning an intimate little party to introduce you children. Ninety of my closest friends. Oh, but oh, there's so much work to do. Where shall we start? <clears throat> Ellington, eat, eat. <coughs>
Bye bye, little fishies. Here she comes. Finally. Come on. Hurry up, Elizabeth. Come on, Elizabeth. We gotta have a meeting. What's up? Hurry up. We gotta have a meeting. You know, guys. I think that the treehouse is, you know, more for kids your age. Elizabeth, don't try to grow up right now. This woman is seriously bad news. She flushed Harry's tadpoles down the toilet. They wheezed them for Meg. Harry, I'm sure she didn't know. All of them, even the big fat one, the one in my ball. That's not all, Elizabeth. Look what I found in the rag drawer. Save the password. Rosen sword forever. Come on. My favorite T-shirt. Elizabeth, Ellington, Jeremy, we have an appointment. Come down at once from that horrible I saw. Oh. I'm going to have that thing torn down next week. Oh, it's disgusting. <laughs> Watch it! Hold on, moi, monsieur. I know not. Yeah, okay. Is Mrs. Martin home? Who? Oh, uh, the madam. Um, she is out with the children. Would you like to leave her a message? Yeah, you give the madam a message. Tell her I'm coming by tomorrow morning and that she'd better be here. Ooh la la! <laughs> And it has to go. She's much too old for that hairdo. Oh, I want the length off. I want something with sharp angles. And I don't want to discuss it. Hank, don't even think about it. <laughs> Relax, darling. And Ellington over there? Just needs cleaning up. What am I going to do about you, Morning Glories? Oh, what'll I do? What'll I do? You just won't stop, will you? Hello, Mrs. Cavour. What's the matter? I'm going to have to take strong measures against these morning glories. They, they want the whole garden to themselves. Tell me, children, did you find the mommy market? Children, what have you done to yourselves? We found it all right. We haven't done anything. It's all mama. Who? Mama. Elizabeth picked a real winner of her mother. She's a nightmare, and we're all going to die of lung cancer. I said we could wait. Man, I never want to go shopping again as long as I live. She's horrible. She wants to tear down our treehouse that we built by ourselves. She's really gross. She wears a big white full thing and smokes cigarettes all day long. I see the picture. Well, only experience is going to help you find the right mother. But I can see the difficulty you're having with this one. My grandfather always used to tell me, Cave Eos. Pelis Amant, which means watch out for people who like fur coats. It's clear your mama doesn't like animals. Any longer with that creature loose in it. 
I must go back to the mommy market and find some other little children who don't keep monsters in their bedrooms. They have some cold of two pulse in the refrigerator. Oh, my darling, you will mwah, mwah, easily find another mother mwah, mwah, at the market. But for goodness sakes, warn her that she's coming to a house with a monster loose in it. Shivas, beat, beat. Of course, madame. Shivas? Sorry, madame. Oh, no, perfect timing. Wait a minute, wait, just one minute. Never mind. <laughs> I'll handle this. Hello, Mr. Levy. I hope you didn't have another appointment with our mother. I haven't been able to reach your mother. She doesn't return my calls. She hasn't shown up at work. Now, where is she, kids? She's out. I want the truth. She's out. I'll tell you to drop by. Well, who was that woman in the limo? That's our interior decorator. Um... Mom's redoing the house. I don't know what's going on around here, but I do know you're trying to cover something up. Now, you tell your mother, if she doesn't call me tomorrow, I'm getting in touch with social services. Attention shoppers, this is your last token. Don't blow it. There are no more terms. All children should have pets. Success is the most important goal. What are you making with those cans? I'm not making anything. They're there for intellectual stimulation. That is the greatest gift we mothers can give our children. What is intellectual stimulation? She looks like some teacher just dying to bum out some children. Hi. Cleanliness is next to godliness. It looks like a real gloom. Let's get out of here pronto. I can't get too much of the outdoors. I love yeah. doing things with kids. What other things do you do with them? Oh, all kinds of things. Baseball, touch football, fishing, hiking, bird walks. Do you like iguanas? Love them. Fascinating species. Do you play basketball? You bet I do. Here. Yeah. I have a marshmallow. Thanks. Oh, Can I have one? I want one. She's awesome. She would never tear down the tree half. She's everything we could want in a mother. Now, Jeremy, we have to use our heads about this. We have to all want her. What do you think of her? Hmm. Good marshmallow. Look, we gotta get somebody fast. Libby's gonna be back. <laughs> she likes the guanas, Elizabeth. Yeah, face him, Elizabeth. It's two to one. Okay, okay, we'll ask her. The time to go. Um, excuse me. We'd like you to be our mother. No, I want her. Oh, 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 oh. I'm out. Let's count out like good sports. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. I choose this one right here. Why don't you call me... Mom! Can't have this nonsense between me and the outdoors. There. Now I can settle in. Who's Philly Pillow? Get rid of him. That's my college field hockey team. The year I was sent a forward, we were undefeated. <sighs> Taxidermy is my hobby. I consider these my masterpieces. Meet Michael, my iguana. <sighs> He's really neat, Harry. We'll have to get you a mate for him. Then you can breed them. No, thanks, Mom. Michael's plenty. Sometimes he even forgets to feed him. We don't need a whole lot of them. Nonsense. If you get too many, you can stuff some of them. I'll teach you how. All right, watermelon seed fight. Me and Harry against you guys. <laughs> Look, look, look at 
the size of that raccoon. We can catch him and stuff him. Wait, Mom, don't hurt him. I can make a special trap to bag an animal that size. Swahili natives taught it to me when I was on safari back in 82. Mom, he's just a helpless raccoon. Shh. So good. My best griddle cakes. Now up and at them. When did you come in here, Harry? Last night. I was scared. Wimp. So heavy. Harry back his sleeping bag. Campers must learn to carry their own equipment. But he's tired and he's only six. Ah, we'll stop and rest then. It's not much further anyway. All right. Just up there. <laughs> So go, Harry. You leave. Oh, look at that, Jeremy. Leave. sleeping bag then. then I get all sweaty. If you're going to be a camper, you have to be a man, Harry. Uh, spread your ponchos over your sleeping bags and go to sleep. We'll 
be back as soon as the weather changes. Let's sing a rousing marching song to give us some pep. Tramp, 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 the boys are marching. Cheer up, comrades, they will come. In the prison cell I sit, thinking more the dear of you. And our sweet and happy home so far away. I got more scratches yesterday than I did in my whole life. Thank God for bad weather. Yeah, but for how long? One sunny day, you have to go back out there. You guys up there? Yeah, hi. Wanna play a game of kickball? Okay. Cool. Radical. Well, girls, okay, okay anyone who yeah. with... What's going on out here? We're playing kickball. Super! Kickball's a favorite of mine. Elizabeth will be captain of one team. I'll be captain of the other. We don't use captains. We just play. Well, then, it's high time you learn to do it right. Mom, what's this? Harry, oh. you, 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 and you on Elizabeth's team. <laughs> Jeremy, you're on mine. I'll take these kids here and their little brother. We let the kids who are under five be on both sides because they like to be up to bat better than in the field. If they're old enough to play, they're old enough to obey the rules. Well, that little one there is too young to play. But he always plays. It's his favorite thing. Well, I'm sorry. This is not a sport for a toddler. Well, if he's not playing, I'm not playing either then. Come on, Luke, let's go home. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> right now, let's play ball! Pam Kitcher, I'm third base. I'm second. Well, great work. Mom, you're throwing it too fast. You can't kick it like that. Strike three. Out. Move over. Next man up. I didn't get my turn yet. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. I didn't get my turn win. You're not fair. That's not how Elizabeth pitched. If you're going to play, you have to do it right. Three strikes and you're out. But she always gets a home run. Not unless she kicks it. Good and hard. Ruining it all. Come on, Lily. Let's go over to Sally's house. We can play some right Let's go. We can play the right move. Yeah, me too. Let's go. Huh. Well, I can see you guys need some serious training. Let's start with push-ups. Everyone drop and give me 20. Drop. One, two, three, four, five. What did we do wrong? We thought she was the exact opposite of Mama. She seemed wonderful at first. You made a very natural mistake. You thought because she was interested in different things than Mama, she'd be a different kind of person. Well, down at the roots, they're the same. The same? What do you mean the same? There was never anybody more different. Mama seemed to only care about how you looked. Right? Yes. Hey, wait a minute. Think about it. How did Mom pick us? Any, many, many, mo. Yeah, so? It really didn't make any difference. What kid she got? Yeah, all she wanted was the winner. Right. So we don't have to worry about hurting her feelings when we tell her to go back to the mommy market. And I think you better tell her right away. You need to have a quiet day by yourselves before you try another one. I'm scared to try again. This is our last chance. Yeah, what are we gonna do if we don't pick the right one? Miss Cabal, do you think we're ever gonna find a mother? Well, I think the mistake you make is being fooled by all the fancy trappings. Now, these are zinnias. Good mothers are rather like zinnias, dependable. But they can surprise you. They're really quite extraordinary. Mom? Hey, yeah? I'm up here, setting a trap for that raccoon we spotted. 
Mom, come on down. We got to talk to you man to man. Oh, good. What about? We feel that we don't suit each other, and we think you should go back to the mommy market. Nonsense. We haven't had a real camping trip yet. We don't want one either. Oh, don't chicken out on me now. We've only gotten off the ground. Mom, be a good sport and play the rules of the game. Yeah, don't be a poor sport. You're right. You're right. I'd never want to say that I'm a poor loser. Well, I'll just gather my things, go inside, and be on my way. Ah. Ah. Cheerio. Here you pick. You both pick really gross hobo mothers. Do you guys ever try to remember a real mother? Why, do you remember something about her? No. I was just trying to. All I remember is that we wanted to get rid of her. You know, I'm getting scared. Let's so last pick the mommy market. What if we pick the wrong mother? Oh, Elizabeth, I just want a good mother. I want one I like. Don't worry. I'll pick one you like. Someone really extraordinary. Do you teach kids to juggle? Why, of course! Children are so the suck. What if they don't want to be in the circus? Oh, oh but like a joint circus. <laughs> She seems nice. Please, I'm not even discussing her. Yeah, but I didn't get a pick. You said we get one I like. Now it's my turn and I want her. Harry, this is our last shot. We gotta be careful and pick someone really good. Well, if you don't like her, I want the cook you want. Harry, stop being such a baby. We gotta use our heads about this. This is serious. I am serious. I'm not being a baby. You're not fair. Everyone I want you to want. I'm not picking anyone you want. Look what you got us. It's my turn, and now I want to pick two. And Elizabeth, she's extraordinary. She juggles. It's her last token. You sure about this? Yes. Please depart the token. Ha! Oh! <laughs> Since we're all going to be part of the truth, why don't you guys call me my name? Natasha. Okay, let's go. Hey, oh, there they are. That's our boss. Oh, my. Been with us 20 years. It's gone everywhere with us. Us? Who's us? <laughs>
kill us. We've got a three-ring circus in our backyard. Elizabeth, we've got to get rid of her. Okay, we'll tell her to go back, that's all. But then we'll have no mother at all. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, may I have your attention, please? Tonight, in our century... Natasha, look at me! No! Look, we're sorry, but we'd like you to leave. And we want you to take everybody else with you. Ah, what is this? We're about to go on tour. Yeah, well, we don't want to go on tour. And we want you to get out. Ah, don't be ridiculous. Right, big guy? That's right. Right. Okay, little guy. Okay. Oh, man, we're stuck with it. Very, very good. Don't get on it. Yeah, very good. Okay, go.
see what I mean, Dr. Richardson? shopping and who's gonna tuck us in make sure we eat and everything we can't go back to the mommy market so who is gonna take care of us hurry stop it just stop it to contact the proper authorities and get them into foster homes. Foster homes? Last turn on stupid mother. Now I have no mother at all, and they won't let us back to the mommy market. She gotta help us. Is there any way we can go back to the mommy market and try one more time? What's the use? I hate them all. You know, I just wish we could find our own mother. Me too. If only we could remember something about her. Mrs. Cavour, why can't we remember anything about her? Well, that's a typical manifestation of the enchantment. The what? The enchantment sorcery. The name doesn't matter. It's what's taken your mother away. I don't understand. Why can't we remember her? Where did she go? I told you, erasing memory was a dangerous game. Of course you don't remember. Memory would break the spell. That's the way with enchantment. But if you did break it and got her back, you'd remember quite clearly. She isn't lost, you know. She's only misplaced. But how can we break it? There must be some way. Yeah, how can we get her back? Yeah, where is she? The only way you can break the enchantment is to pick your mother, really, and truly pick her. Wait, does she have the mommy market? How do we recognize her? Will you make some flower magic so we remember her? Oh, you'll have to make your own. After all, she's your own mother. How do we do that? We don't know any magic. Well, a spell isn't essential, but it can't hurt to have a nice one. Why don't you see what happens if you say the names of wildflowers? I can't think of any. Well, think of where they grow, in the woods or in the swamps in the spring or the fields in the summer. Daisy! Good. Violets. And buttercups. Oh, I know, lady slippers. Pink ones and yellow ones. Daisy. Harry, you already said daisies. I know. I like daisies. I want the moon again. Oh, devil's paintbrush and skunk cabbage. Who said that? No, your mother isn't perfect, you know. Skunk cabbage is one of the first flowers to bloom in the spring. And I, for one, am always very glad to see it. Black-eyed Susan. Wild roses and water lilies. Forget me not. I think that will be quite adequate. And it certainly sounds like you. I'm sure it'll be a help to you, remembering your mother. But don't get discouraged. And remember, Ad Matrum Paraspera. That's some of the tokens. What does it mean? It means it's hard work to find out who your mother is. It's not looking. Come on. We'll get Michael back. We have to get a token. I don't want to do it. Mary, would you rather have an iguana or a mother?
kids were advised of the rules. Stealing a token doesn't make any difference. You have no more turns. Now go on. Get out of here. You broke the rules. Understand? You can never come back. Yes, I know. I've got the papers from the social service department. I followed the kids into this area. They're somewhere around here. Let's search the area. If we come up empty, Stay we'll back. head back to their house. Just leave it with the police. They're finding foster homes for them right now. I've got some pictures of them. Come on. If my mother's in there, we've got to find her. I don't care what happened. Elizabeth! Sorry, Jeremy. I'm feeling really scared, Elizabeth. I know. So am I. <laughs> no, I just want a mother who knows me. You know, who loves me. I just want my own mother. Me too. We have to try to remember her. We just have to remember her. Daisies, daisies, daisies! Why isn't it working, Elizabeth? Daisies. We're never gonna remember her. You know what? Let's make up a memory together. About a trip we took with our mother to someplace special. How can you make a memory about someone you can't remember? Well, we could just imagine how we'd want it to be. Okay. But make up an exciting one. The one that happened yesterday. To all of us. Yesterday's kind of hard. It just happened. Elizabeth, we're pretending. Yeah, we went to Fox Hill Ponds and they caught fish. No, we didn't. We went to the beach, the real beach by the ocean. Uh, not me. I went to the woods, where I'd never been before. I found a secret waterfall. I know. You know what we did? The reason why it was such an adventure is because we couldn't decide which one we wanted to do. So our mother decided that we should do everything. She did? Yes. Mother woke us up really early. When we got to the beach before the sun had even come up. There was no one there but us. Just our mother and us. It was like being on the edge of the land, on the edge of the sea, the edge of the day, all at once.
It was really cold that morning, so our mother bundled us up and made a fire of driftwood. And then we all played with the waves, racing them into shore. Yeah, and our feet got really freezing, but we didn't even notice because we were having so much fun. The only sounds were us running and laughing and the seagulls squawking. There's something magical about us being alone out there. I remember Mom told us a story she made up about us all running away to sea. And then she told us that every time we got to watch the sunrise, God was telling us a secret. Later in the day, we followed a little brook, and its clear brown pools weren't even knee deep. Yeah, and our sneakers got all wet and made squishy noise when we walked. We discovered this great rock where we decided to have our picnic that our mother made us. But the best was that beneath the rock, there was this terrific little pool that had a magnificent waterfall spilling over an old stone dam. Me and Mom swam out first to check out how deep it was. No fair! How come we didn't go? We did, Harry. Mom just wanted to make sure it was safe for you. It was so beautiful. We felt like we were the first people there in years. job swimming, Harry. Yeah, I'm sure our mother was really proud of me since she taught me how to swim. She sure was. Then after lunch, we laid down and slept because we had woken up so early. I doubt I slept. I just stayed under the waterfall, watching the sun coming through the trees while the rest of you slept. It was in the evening when the pond was really smooth. Except for the bugs flying so low, they hit the water sometimes. We were all really quiet. Yeah, Mommy told us we'd scare the fish away if we talked too much. I was just really my lining, and I suddenly, I couldn't believe it. There's a humongous fish on it. Sucker, so you threw it back. I don't mind if I threw it back, because that means it's still alive. It was a real beauty. It looked like it was made of silver. We had a terrific day. An absolute perfect yesterday. She's out there somewhere very close. You can feel it. I want it back so much. I only want our mother. Our very own mother. Me too. Me too. Go to sleep. Elizabeth, 
since you're almost in the eighth grade, I'm sure you're capable of doing your own laundry. Well, children. These are for your mother. Love, Mrs. Kabul. Mommy, you're She's back! back. Name it anything. We'll make it. Just leave it to us and we're going to clean up the whole house, Mom. Now, wait a minute. I meant what I said last night. You are grounded and there's no TV. Last night? That was weeks ago. Oh, come on. Wait a minute. What day is it, Mommy? It's Saturday and I didn't forget we have a visitor coming this morning. Mr. Levy, your school principal. What? Huh? You mean he's never shown up? Okay, guys. What are you up to? Oh, Mom, I love you so much. Oh. We're never gonna do anything bad ever again. Well, we try not to. That's good. You're still grounded. Who cares? We'll still do the gun, clean up the house, and do Mommy's book. Oh, whatever came over you guys. Mm. What are you doing? Where did what? that come from? It doesn't matter. You wouldn't believe us. I'm just glad you're here. Oh, me too. Mm -hmm. We have the best mother in the whole world. Oh, yeah. Oh, mother. Oh, guys. Oh. What am I gonna have for breakfast? Fresh squeezed orange juice. Thank you. We're great at it. We're great at it. 